Snap Wizard takes the hassle and frustration out of 360 editing. You don't have to add keyframes and the editing is super fast. And I have a secret weapon that I use for some shots that makes editing even easier. So let's get straight to it and take a look. Open up the app and select your video clip from the app's album. The clip will open on your phone's screen and you'll see Snap and Edit at the top. So select Snap. Now select your aspect ratio here by choosing between 9x16, 16x9, 1x1 or 2.35 to 1. The three dots in the top right hand side of the screen bring up an additional menu which we'll go through really quickly but most of it you can ignore. On the first page just leave everything on the default settings unless you shot underwater in which case turn on AquaVision here. On the accessories page leave everything as is unless you use lens guards or the dive case or the cold shoe mount, in which case you'll need to change the stitching parameters here. You can edit the whole of your clip or just a section of it, so scroll your finger along the clip thumbnails at the bottom to find the part you want to edit or just play the whole clip from the beginning. And you can play and stop the clip by tapping anywhere on the screen. You can edit your clips in Snap Wizard in three ways. The first method is to tap the round circle and the recording will start and you can then move your finger around the screen to change the direction of the camera and you can zoom in to a natural view or zoom out to a tiny planet shot using the slider on the right hand side. You can also, if you prefer, physically move the phone around to change the direction of the camera. To create an inverted planet, tilt the phone upwards and then slide down the slider to zoom out and the image will be inverted. Remember, every move that you make on the screen once you start recording becomes part of your edit and part of your final video. To stop recording, press the record icon again. The second method is to long press and keep hold of the record button. The recording will start straight away and you can then move the phone around to adjust the direction of the camera and move your finger up to zoom in and down to zoom out. This push and hold method is my favorite method and it works really well with my secret weapon that is this my spinning office chair. When I shot this video of Scooby, he was literally running circles around me and it was so much easier to follow him using this live, real-time editing spinning in my chair. At the time, I was using the original viewfinder mode, so there was no deep track. I used this method of editing to create these videos because it was much easier to follow the action. <laughs> If you use a spinning chair of any kind, it will make your edits a lot smoother, even for smaller movements, and will allow you to follow the action more easily. And incidentally, the Big Shave is one of my most popular social media posts with over 3 million views. A quick tip for following the action is to try and use your whole body to tilt or pan the phone, and keep the phone still as much as you can in your hands. Small twitchy movements with your hands will result in a poor final video. If you move your whole body and use method two where you press and hold the record button, you'll be able to create nice smooth moves where you can use a combination of a tilt and a pan and a zoom in or a zoom out all at the same time. The third method is to use deep track by selecting your subject and dragging a square across them. Now when you tap record or press and hold the record icon, Snap Wizard will automatically track them and all you need to do is change the frame size either by using the slider on the right or if you're pressing and holding then moving your finger up and down on the screen. When you finish recording, your final clip will appear at the bottom here as a thumbnail and it will tell you how long the clip is. And the really cool thing with Snap Wizard is that you can create up to 20 mini edits from your original footage all within the Snap Wizard window. To play back your clips, you simply tap the thumbnail. And you can now delete it here if you're not happy by tapping the bin icon, or you can trim it using the trim sliders at the bottom here. And the left one trims the start, and the right one trims the end point. And when you open one clip like this, you'll see all of your mini edit clips at the bottom within the same window. And you can switch between them to trim them and once you're happy, select the tick icon. When you're ready to export, click the export icon in the top right, and then you can either export all your clips as separate files directly to your phone's album, or you can select create a story, which automatically joins all of your edited clips together 
and you can then add music, filters, adjust color, saturation, or change the speed, etc. To see how I created the floating razor and the floating dart effect, you can watch these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.